How are y'all, guys? This is uh, Joey. Uh, USA Cricket is about to get suspended. We are in a lot of trouble right now. And uh, before I talk about this and read this article from um, CrickBuzz, I do want to guide you to three better sources uh, who are infinitely more knowledgeable and well-informed than I am. Know these people that I'm talking about personally, and that is Peter De La Pena, um, who's been a journalist for USA Cricket for like ever, uh, Nate Hayes from Emerging Cricket, and also Smith Patel, whose article I will read um, and explain in full. Um, well, I'm not going to explain in full, but I'll explain to my capabilities. But I'm giving you secondhand information, just so you know. These people know directly what is happening, so I highly recommend that you talk to them. But I do want to share this on my channel for you guys. I'll like chew it up like a mama bird and then spit feed it to you. We've seen problems with USA cricket with the World Cup fiasco, getting tickets to it, uh, building the stadium last minute. There's problems with the USA national tournament with it being rained out and then flooded out, um, picking the roster, uh, firing our CEO. Uh, the two only full-time members of USA cricket just quit. Um, the strength and conditioning coach, I think just quit. And this is like two months before uh, the start of the world cup. Um, there's a really good, and again, I, I use his stuff all the time and I kind of feel bad. Uh, I hope I don't, I, don't, I hope he doesn't think I'm like ripping him off, but this is such good information. He says less than two Peter de la Pena says it's less than two months until USA co-hosts the T20 World Cup. Not only has USA Cricket fired its CEO, had two key employees quit, the only two employees from what I understand, and been unable to hire a full-time men's and women's USA Cricket coach. Also uh, seeing all of its key sponsors, Sistar Mortgage, T10 Sports, Newberry, abandoned them. Wow. Wow. And that is just insane. I don't know what happened to the coach we were supposed to hire, but there's no USA cricket coach announced yet. Um, and it seems like a lot of the decisions that are being made in USA cricket are very petty. For example, our, t our five games against Canada that are coming up. Um, they're held in a complex Prairie View cricket complex, which has no bathrooms, uh, which is not suitable for um, for an international competition of that stature. You would kind of want bathrooms. So it seems like these decisions are being made like, ha ha, you know, we're going to hold it here. Um, it just it's mind boggling. So you know that the Olympics will be held in uh, Los Angeles in 2028. And so. Um, I'm going to read this article about um, the worry that ICC and the Olympic Committee have. It's written by Smith Patel. So again, you should follow him on Twitter um, and read all of his articles, every single one of them, because they're amazing. But Smith Patel also frequently discusses um, USA cricket. So you should check him out. But um, before I get to that, you know, when it's kind of starting to seem like I don't want to cover Major League Cricket, and I think the reason of that is because it feels dirty because of stuff like this happening that, you know, it's not helping cricket community in the United States. And um, it's just like a money making operation. And that just doesn't feel like you want you want to build the youth. You want to work with young people and, and build a community. And this is like none of that. This is just a quick money grab. And um, it's just gross. It's just very gross. So. OK, so this says uh, United States Olympic Paralymp Paralympic Committee and the International Cricket Council reprimand the United States cricket as suspension looms. Crick Buzz understands that the United States uh, Olympic Committee sent out a hard hitting letter lambasting the present state of affairs. Uh, by the way, lambasting. I always think of like basting like a turkey, like you're like, all right, sorry, be serious. OK, lambasting the present state of of affairs of the USA Cricket Board. According to sources in the know, the Olympic body has expressed severe dissatisfaction with the current governance and management practices within the organization. Uh, USA Olympics is understood to be disturbed with the interference of board directors in the day-to-day -day operations of the board. Uh, the recent ouster of CEO Dr. Noor Murad is believed to be in the inflection point, which may move the Olympic body to look beyond USA Cricket. Like, what does that mean? Like, does that mean that the board, like USA Olympics are going to not include USA cricket in decision-making processes for the Olympics? 
we do see a lot of parallels with this and USA rugby because, um, as you know, rugby sevens is a very important Olympic sport and having this Olympic body really helps to keep USA rugby in check. And USA rugby has a lot of the problems that USA cricket has a lot of the problems, you know, um, and there's been articles written by people in USA rugby, as you know, like rugby is also my, another great love of mine as well as cricket. So it's really sad to see these, these problems like appearing in, in these sports in the United States is, is nothing new. But it, but it's good that we do have Olympics here because that will keep that will keep our governing body in check. That we have another governing body too. And, and Olympics doesn't mess around. The Olympics do not mess around. To add insult to injury, following their board meeting on March 15th, the ICC issued a direct warning to USA Cricket to get its house in order. It is learnt, learned that an overwhelming number of full members were in favor of suspending USA Cricket, but agreed to take the suspension off the table until the culmination of the World Cup. Whoa. And that's what I've heard, too. You have a World Cup in two months. How are you going to suspend this uh, organization? Though they, sh they more than should be uh, suspended for this. The ICC are said to be uh, incensed by Dr. Mur Murad's termination as USA as CEO less than six months into his contract uh, because Dr. Murad was recommended by the ICC for the post and USA Cricket. So the ICC are incensed, but at the termination of our CEO less than six months into his contract because he was recommended by the ICC and USA Cricket further fueled ICC ires after its effort to reinstate, Dr. Murad fell to deaf ears. Um, and I don't know if, you know, they have hearing problems or if it really means that, you know, they weren't listening. So but if they have hearing problems, you should probably check that out because that's, you know, that's a serious issue. But um, they feel that they should be very much involved in the day to day activities, operations. So when they are running operations, there is some personal element involved. Of course, there is. That's why it's never growing. They are spending a lot of money to be elected to that position. So they feel that this is their right to run the operations for certain reasons, just to support their own people and get them appointed to various committees on the board. Um, right. And so it's like it's the USA cricket feeling like they have the right to tell the CEO what to do. Um, you know, we're going to hire you, but like you still need to listen to us rather than uh, doing what you think is best. Um, so they said that the CEO was like powerless to act on certain things. Um he wanted to appoint new members, uh, like a member of direct, a director of domestic cricket. Um, he had to scrap that idea. Um, he also wanted to make a preparation pathway to the World Cup, which included conducting the national T20 in November, followed by a strength and conditioning program and bilaterals against other full member nations, uh, which sounds awesome. It was like a really good idea. Like imagine. And, and so we've talked about this before, how we just like last minute scheduled these eight T20 international games when every other nation was scheduling things. If you go to Canada, if you look at their Twitter, they are on fire. They're absolutely on fire getting a bunch of uh, sponsors, getting a bunch of games scheduled. They're kicking ass too. They're winning. Um, and so they... I don't know if this is their idea of having the uh, Cricket World Cup qualifiers and having T20 internationals after those games. Like it was really brilliant. So I'm turning into a Canadian fan. Um, you know, that's my team. I used to live in Canada for a little bit too. So I have no problem switching to Canada until this gets sorted out. But um, yeah, this is bad. So, um, and finally, it says here at the, the bottom that the termination of uh, Jamie Paul Lloyd and women's coordinator Julie Abbott. Um, and strength and conditioning coach Burt Cockley, uh, just a month ahead of the USA's first World Cup, um, also made things worse. So, yeah, like, how could you do that? And so I don't know if I've gone over this before, and I wish I had more time. Pero USA Cricket has been uh, terminated before in, 19, in 2017. It was called the USACA, and it was the same like corruption issues uh, that happened before. Um, so this is nothing new. So probably need to make another video like really detailing this in a more uh, high effort video. But uh, I just wanted to share the breaking news with you guys now because uh, I thought that was shocking. So let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.